Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, I'm going to continue working on trying to get our products in the positive, and so far we've been pretty effective at that. Um, we probably still need you know some more consumer goods, but right now I'm just building enough to keep it positive uh, for the moment. Until we get tech that allows us to get just more consumer goods production per worker. So, you know, that would be very useful. And uh, we've got our fleet moved down to the border. That is ready to go to fight a war. Particularly against a Twaxidar Combine. And my plan would be to attack them once they're out of their war and force them to be our vassal. So we will be looking into that. Empire Sprawl is, is a bit of an issue, but, uh, you know, we'll see how that uh, plays out. And yeah, just kind of working through, getting ships built, getting research done, working on our traditions. So just kind of falling through it. We might as well just keep on going. Now, there is one thing I noticed here. If we look at the Ixidar Star Collective, they would accept vassalization, but they need to be at peace. So we need to wait until their wars end, and then... Species adjusted. All right, we've finished modifying the snakeoids with some additional traits. I was working on. The conquest of a new world has begun. Uh, we're establishing a new colony. It's down there. I think I have another colony ship out somewhere. Or was planning one. Well, it should be listed in our civilian ships. Yeah, there our it is. Ships have been made superior. We're taking an interesting route. Well, that's fine, I guess. Alright, so the first fleet's been upgraded. I think it's new point defense. Or was it new point defense, or is it new reactors? One of the two. Yeah, we're chewing through that. Uh, let's see. Can't afford a reinforced fleet. Yeah, they're at maximum destroyers. We have maximum corvettes. We just need to get some more cruisers built. Which I should be able to actually do here. Let's just go ahead and uh, buy a, a little bit. Uh, vote is in session. Let's see what uh, what do we got? Form Galactic Council establishes a Galactic Council of three members. The council begins with the powers to push emergency measures, propose sanction resolutions, and denounce. Um. Okay, I don't really care. We have 4.4k diplomatic weight. That's actually we're almost in there. I really don't care. Anyway, whichever way. We have negative three consumer goods again. All right, 
Barnia here. You've got unemployed worker. Research. Minerals. 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 All right, um, oh, we don't even have enough minerals here. Well, negative three really isn't that big of a problem right now. Technology cost, tradition, adoption cost, campaign cost. Yeah, we really got to get that dealt with. I'm primarily just waiting on better traditions, because we're probably going to have to take Administratum. Increase administrative capacity. District costs and upkeep down. We might have to take a an Ascension perk that improves our administrative capacity. So... We'll see. Construction complete. I got lots of open mineral purification plants. So I'll go on a specialized mining world. Which this is a specialized mining world. Who are you? Tech world. Look at all these civilian industries. Wow. Well, I need to build more. 46 more. Two more. We always buy some, I guess. Well, I'll just wait. How's this going? It's in the 60s. A new conflict has erupted. The Ethereal, the Ethereal conglomerate is declared war on a T Zru Mercantile Union. Okay, that's not anything I need to worry about. What I'm really worried about are these two. Need to get them. They need to be okay so master merchants trade attractiveness increased by five percent and market fee decreased by five percent very good we get ourselves a new ascension perk do any of these provide starbase influence cost claim influence cost i don't think i'm really actually going to need that starbase capacity up that'd be really nice one vision, monthly unity, pop amenity usage down, governing ethics attraction up. Consecrated roles, no, master nature, clear blocker cost, that's really not that important. Um, Imperial prerogative, administrative capacity plus 20%. Done. All right, so you have a worker. All right, here's what we're going to do. Mark it.
Give me a bunch of minerals. I need to build a city district here. Which planet was I going to build this on? It doesn't really matter, but this one works. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Right, we should be getting close to getting that fleet filled out. Plasma accelerators. Okay. Proton, uh, proton launchers, tachyon sensors, hyperdrive three, ultra energetic particle colliders, mineral storage capacity plus five percent, field hit points plus no field hit points plus five percent, mineral storage capacity plus five thousand, unlocks a mega structure, the stellar particle accelerator. You know what? Let's find out what that's all about. I know what that's all about. First leak could be upgraded again. Our ships have been made superior. Scientific okay, so our plasma energy. throwers have been upgraded to plasma accelerators. Okay. Makes sense. I have new roles I can assign these guys. Pick it. Advanced to close range. Yeah, this one's going to be advanced to close range. This one should be line. Yeah, that's fine. The conquest of a new world has begun. Improved maintenance bay. Strike craft speed, strike craft damage. Oh, that'd be very nice to have for my carriers. Actually, what else was available there before I just go ahead and choose it? Habitats, research alternatives, research station outputs, quantum missiles, auto cannons. All this is good stuff, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and grab that improved maintenance bay. Scientific breakthrough achieved. We're going to queue everybody back in. All right, more administrative capacity. District minerals cost minus 40. Scientific research from researchers. Naval capacity from soldier jobs. Let's get rid of those tile blockers. this planet needs them. Let's see, what do we have here? Mineral purification plants? I'm not worried about that right now. Robot assembly plants. Jobs base upkeep is in alloys. We have established a new planetary base. 
The Mechpucks Democratic Confederacy is becoming spiritualist. Alright. Planet production. I guess I could throw down an energy grid. Could work. I guess keep building civilian industries. I could start integrating these guys. Would that be a good idea, though? I mean, look at all the star bases that would be involved. Our ships have been made superior. The Union of Athul is becoming xenophobic. Strength through conquest. Conquests. Local rivalry. We don't have a local rivalry? Alright then. Uh... The Berserkers. Alright. My empires are relative power greater than pathetic and less than overwhelming. Well, they're apparently pathetic, so that's... That's good, I guess. To some extent. We'll make you guys a rival for the time being. Leviathan Slayer. I haven't even seen one. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, so here's our new colony. Get a city in there. There's a new colony being established up here. It should get me some minerals. We have established a new planetary base. All right, so there we go. We got the blocker. Uh, administrative capacity plus ten. That'd be nice. Regenerative cellular reconstruction, leader lifespan plus 20 years. That also be, would be nice. Diplomatic weight plus 5, plus 10%. Embassy complex. Orbital ecosystems. Mineral storage capacity. Terraforming speed. Unlocks megastructure orbital artificial ecosystem. A very large station housing a completely artificial ecosystem to study nature. Interesting. But we have a lot of other stuff here that we're going to do. We're going to take that regenerative cellular reconstruction. And we have an archaeological site event. Our archaeologists working on Magna Sandi accidentally triggered an array of ancient but still functionally sen functional sentry guns. No one's harmed, but the guns are blocking the only way forwards. If they can't be disabled, our archaeologists will have to find on an alternative route. Uh, disable the guns. That archaeological effort there is taking a very long time.
feels like all I'm able to build right now are civilian industries. Upgrading. What is this station building? Nothing. Oh, it's building a deep space black site. These are the ones that are upgrading, right? I don't even know. Well, we're just going to keep queuing in more construction. Construction complete. Alright, do I go for another colony? Let's go ahead and get the uh, Scientific breakthrough achieved. minerals there. Ultra energetic particle colliders. Okay. New research. Plasma cannons, star based damage, gamma lasers, advanced research complexes, research speed for physics. Physics researchers from re research from researchers, research station output. I think we'll take the nine dimensional theory, increase our research speed a little bit. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Alright, so those are a leader of lifespan. Psionic crew. Tracking plus 10. Primitive initiatives. Our base capacity, chemical bliss, no. Don't really worry about that. So unrest decision. Vitality boosters, we get even more leader lifespan. Let's go ahead and unlock the psionic crew. That sounds interesting. Alright, so you guys have workers available. We cannot build any farms here. That's interesting technician jobs you know what go ahead and build an energy grid there oh and one other thing i need to do is we need to get a city district going there I need some additional star base capacity so I can upgrade that without penalty. Yeah. 
You need city district. There we go. Ooh, what's this? The Andagage Sovereignty made peace with the Hasbuzan Syndicate. The Hetma Dominion. Hasbuzan Syndicate gets a bunch of systems. Okay, that's interesting. Does not affect these guys, though. These guys are still at war. Now, these guys are only involved in two wars. So, there we go. Getting these guys to become a vassal would be excellent. What do I got? A worker. All right. Well, uh, farm. There. What do you've got? You've got a worker. Uh, mine. And what do you have? A worker. Uh, build a mine. You have a demolished building. Moat harvest traps. Can we repair that? Yeah, repair that. And build a mine. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, there's the improvised, no, not improved, improvised maintenance bay. Building mineral costs down. Pinnacle Company Engineering. Elgate Insight. I'm not that worried about Elgate Insight. Exotic gas refineries. That might be useful. Alloy nano plants. Nothing here improves my production of. Consumer goods. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take the Pinnacle Company Research Engineering, which gives me plus 33 engineering research per month. Which will make me be able to research things faster. Obviously. Ah, they're building some stuff first. Ooh, a peace conference. Does that involve anybody that I'm currently interested in? The Otaga Corporation made peace with the Valdari Coalition. All right, they traded some stuff. Well, the Valdari took a bunch of things. That does not involve you. Okay. Does that involve you? No, that doesn't involve you. What I'm going to do here... The Mer Merovandia commerce skills become more xenophilic. Alright, good. I'm going to create another new fleet here. We're going to follow the same... No, oh, uh... We have established a new planetary base. 
Okay. So, 10 Coyote Cast Class Corvettes. Fifteen Wolverine class Corvettes. Not worry about the Raiders. Uh, eight of each type of destroyer. And then two of each type of cruiser. And start reinforcing that fleet. New colony gets a city. Be the first city on the planet. All right, newly founded colony. Oh, that's what we already did. We got an archaeological event. All right. Keep on digging. We found a tower, apparently. Alright, keep on going. You can upgrade your capital and build some civilian industries. We have been insulted by the Praku consciousness. So be it. National Evolvement Lobby. Restricting our policies to defensive war only? No, that's not going to happen. Anti-autocratic, that isn't going to happen. Free movement. Ensure the free movement of pumps by prohibiting forced resettlement and disabling migration controls. So I want to disable forced resettlement. It has been very useful for me to move pumps around. Build some administrative offices there on Earth. And Volkia. We can upgrade the capital there. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. have to think about it. Alright, but I think we're at the end of the episode. Alright, there's our new fleet. Fourth fleet. Yes. Alright. Yeah, as I said, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And, uh... And we'll see how things go. I'm waiting for some wars to end uh, with our neighbors. So that we can get a couple of new vassals. One peacefully, one forcefully. Hopefully, that works out. All right. Well, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.